Do I have any of the like 100 to everyone? Yeah. This should work. Thank you, sister. Let's go for another swift strike. I really wish that had killed. That's a really yeah. I was about to say it's a really strong move, isn't it? What what is with this difficulty curve? Hello? What is the deal with this? This. This boss, for some reason, just has moves that if it hits, you instantly die. Hello? Who designed this? And I hope they got fired. Can you miss that, like, literally once? Like, literally just a single time? Oh, you're just using this out the gate then. It did way less there. Why does it do so much more later in the fight? Why do they change it to be an insta-kill? That makes no sense. Hey, you got halfway through the fight, so we decided that if the enemy decides to use this one move and you don't dodge it, you lose. So, we, we thought that might be interesting game design. Why did we think that? I don't know. We're not actually game designers. Thank, Thank you for the sister. sub, Willy, for 35 months. Greatly appreciated. <laughs> what is Blade of Fury? What? Are you for real right now? Hello? What is going on? No, I'm skipping this one. This is actual bad game design. I'm, I'm literally just skipping this one. No, I want to change it to, like, mode where the enemy has 2 HP. I don't, I don't want... No, lower, all the way. Yeah, to, to the lowest it can go. This fight is designed by morons. Like, they literally had no idea what they were doing when they made this one. Turning down the difficulty somehow lets the enemy go first, by the way, because that makes logical sense. Like, if I had a button to literally just click skip this one because it's poorly designed, I would click it. What a load of trash. The fact that you still have like three fourths of your HP after that when I am on the lowest difficulty is asinine. What what were they thinking when they made this boss? They they must not have been thinking. They literally could not have had a thought in their heads. I I can't believe it. Otherwise they have to be the stupidest morons in the world. I can do this. My dog! I used Revolution at the start, didn't I? Can I get a crit? Does Revolution actually do anything, or is that just a joke? Just a little funny haha. That should kill that one. Can I please crit the, the right one, like, literally just one time? There we go. Woo! 
please die. All right, that was like the worst experience in all of Persona 3 Reload. DLC has been uh, not great thus far, chat. I'm starting to think that they didn't actually fix any of the issues in the original. Because that's what it's starting to feel like. I really just, man, the more we actually play through this, I would have come to the same conclusion if I had actually played through the original. The more we play, the more I'm like, why am I level 40? Why did they take me all the way down to like level 28 or whatever to start this DLC? Why am I not like level 80? It would feel so much better if I was like the level that I last played the game on. Why am I playing the epilogue story at a third of the level I was in the main story? It makes no sense. I admit I was worried about our battle prowess, but we managed to dispatch such a strong foe without much difficulty. Bark, bark. You did great, Koromaru. As for me, I've got some catching up to do since you all got a head start reacclimating yourselves. But with everyone helping, I guess I was able to focus on my investigation. You have my appreciation for that. I know I'm rather late, but I hope you'll still have me at your side as we face whatever comes next. I'll be relying on you. <laughs> there may not be much I can do to help, but I promise you I'll do the best I can. I expect we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's make sure we're all prepared and press on. You've still got some fight in you, I see. How encouraging. All right, that was awful. What? No, change the difficulty game. Everything else in the game has been fine other than the two you mini bosses. Kind of I guess off. I'll open this one because it's three. Ooh, a flash grenade. Bark, bark. So we should go back edit. here and heal. Oh, hello. I will head back to the door. And hey. then go right back because I just wanted to heal. A flower shop flyer? I guess the flower shop's opening a new branch at Polonia Mall. They've been handing out flyers. Doesn't mean much to me, but maybe you can check it out if you're interested. Something going on at the mall? Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Reflesia, Polonia Mall Branch. It's our grand opening. We look forward to doing business. Did you bring a flyer? Wonderful. Here's a gift. Tomato sprout. We also offer a service for growing vegetables on your behalf. Let us know if you're interested. You can leave vegetable seeds. Okay, so you can just do the... All right. So this is just to let you do the plant growing thing. Sure. All right, back in we go. Chat, you ever be playing the episode Igus DLC and just wish you were playing Astrobot instead? Hi. Anyone else or just me? Good day. Hello. Here are my requests. Wonderful. I will report these. Let's hear the results. I will await a sure. report. Very well then. Very well then. Um. How much time do I have left? Like half an hour? We can probably get to the bottom of this at half an hour. Stick together, sister. Do 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 do. The atmosphere on this floor is different. It's still far off, but I can sense a strong enemy somewhere on the lower floors. Wait, this reading I'm getting? It's that same strange presence, probably that mysterious figure again. I'm trying to locate it. No good, I can't lock onto it. I'll try again and see if I can pinpoint it. Please be careful down there. They're gonna add another mini boss I have to go through. Yeah, look, these enemies are like level 37 and 40. I was not under leveled at all. Someone in chat was like, maybe you're just underleveled. I'm like higher level than the average enemy and like the strong enemy of a fight, I'm at the level of or slightly higher. 
dumb difficulty jump. I need someone who is not Korobaru to have a turn. Wind. Gun. I need one of the robots. Well, 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 would you look at that? One of the robots. Let there be wind! And then you're weak to guns, so we need Igus for that one. What on earth is on your arm? That's a flash grenade, alright. It looks really stupid. Who do you think you are, Barret? You wish you could pull off Barret's look. Gun! Gun! I do not like cup noodles. I don't really like noodles. Seeing how the answer's been so far, it makes me question if I'm gonna get it or not. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, like, if I weren't streaming it, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Because it's, uh... It's been a little boring thus far. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm doing better than ever. It has none of the charm of what makes Persona actually fun, which is like the calendar system and building social links, etc., etc. Surroundings may look different, but my readings seem the um, same. Um, you know what is actually making me realize is making just it. how important palaces are wow. in Persona Five. Like I like. I already kind of realized that when playing Persona 3 Reload, but it wasn't as bad. But now that it's basically like, so far all the answer has been is like, hey, guess what? You're you're dungeon crawling, and after you dungeon crawl, you get like a three-minute cutscene, and then boy howdy, we're back to dungeon crawling. Believe it or not, it's like it gets really dull really fast. I remember when I was going through Tartarus in Reload, there would be times, especially a little bit later in the game, where I'd be like, oh my goodness, I'm still, like, it's been like three hours straight of just the never-ending hallways of Tartarus. I'm getting kind of bored. It's like that dialed to 100, but also they put unnecessarily frustrating bosses for no reason every now and then, just to make certain that you aren't having fun. Die. Easiest crit of Koromaru's life. Oh, enemies defeated. Good work out there. Shuffle time. Vacuum slash I don't want. I just only want experience gains. I assume this game is doing the stupid thing where it like messes with the experience gain based on level, so because I'm like the same level or higher than these enemies. I'm not getting much experience, which means I can't get over leveled to hopefully be able to deal with the stupid mini bosses that can one shot you for some reason. We don't see that kind of chest often. Let's not pass it up. I don't want anything to do with monad doors with how annoying the mini bosses have been in this game thus far in this DLC. I want absolutely nothing to do with monad doors. Wait, which way am I going? Straight up this way? Yeah. There we go. We can... I did no set the difficulty back to hard. Stay alert. Honestly, like, I might set the difficulty to, like, peaceful or whatever literally every time we get to a mini boss. Enemy ahead. Think twice before engaging. I would rather not because spawn, it, like, makes the game that. stupid easy. But if the alternative is. Hey, the boss one-shots you if they get a turn? I would rather delete the game from my hard drive. I say as if this is on my PC, I'm playing it on PlayStation 5. Honestly, the combat is getting like so long and tedious that it might be better to turn down the difficulty just to get through it faster before I hit maximum levels of, man, I'm bored. But yeah, the endless hallways of, like, Tartarus and the, uh... Whatchamacallit? This is why my boy Michael is an idiot. What a transition, right? What a segue. 
But I remember Michael saying once, like, I'm a crazy person who actually enjoys just wandering through Tartarus. And yeah, he's insane. Just wandering through these hallways and doing, like, the same four fights over and over again, it gets so boring so fast to me. Man, this animation is clean, though. Crit's the, literally the only one that doesn't matter if you crit it. Why do so many enemies have multi-hit status moves? Why? This is ridiculous. How many enemies have we run into that have the ability to literally just charm all of the characters at once because they have sexy dance for some reason? This is fun. I haven't actually pressed a button in probably like, I don't know, 30 seconds. It's really enjoyable just watching the, uh, watching the AI play the game that I paid $35 for. Really, really good design. Oh, you also have myriad arrows for some reason. Of incredible damage. Dude, get me out of here. I guess I need to res Mitsuru. Can you stop being charmed, please? Please kill all three of them. You're not gonna kill them all with the stupid defense up that Igus gave them, and because Persona is so well designed, I can't do an all-out attack when Igus has any status effect whatsoever. Ah, super cool. <laughs> Why do they have myriad arrows? Why do these enemies have such insanely strong attacks? Hello? I, I've been charmed for like three turns straight. Just get me out of this fight. You, you know what I'm actually about to do? I'm actually about to set this to the lowest difficulty and then just speed run to all the cutscenes. I was not really having much fun yesterday and I'm not having any fun today either. They, they really did nothing to fix what was wrong with the answer, it feels like. The answer is everything that is unfun about Persona, which or old Persona, which is walking through hallways and just having to do constant fights and then running into like really annoyingly poorly balanced bosses. Like the answer is literally all the things that I don't like about Persona thus far. That's what I'm gonna do. I just wanna get through this as fast as possible because I don't wanna play it. Like, I, like, we're, we're almost six hours into this DLC. The first, like, 45 minutes of it was, like, set up in cutscenes. I was like, okay, yeah, you gotta set the mood and all that. And then since then, we've had, like, 
three cutscenes that all lasted like maybe five minutes, and then it's just hallway, 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 hallway. Really unfair and unfun mini boss. Hallway, hallway, hallway. I'm like, I'm bored. I'm bored, Persona. You've made boring DLC. All I want to do is like see all the cutscenes and then quit. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I just want to be through it literally as fast as I possibly Sister, can. Sister, an enemy. I'm gonna hope that being set to the lowest difficulty is like low enough that I can literally avoid every what? enemy. I just want to run to the end of every single room. I basically want to do as little combat as the game will There's allow a treasure me. Chest. What should we do? Because it gets it's so old chest. so fast. Sister, an enemy. Where on earth is the exit? Ahead. Think twice before engaging. 